Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam shows us how to use a live Linux CD to partition hard drives. Ooh, am I still going to need to back up my data? Yeah, seriously, at this point, just back up your data. So on this episode, we are going to use a live Linux CD uh, to partition your hard drives. And this live Linux CD is actually specifically geared just for this task. So because we are partitioning, I am going to give you the warning that you're probably sick of. Uh, make sure to back up all your data uh, just in case uh, one of the partition tables or whatever gets all mocked up. Now, I've never had an issue again, but it's better to be safe than to be sorry. Now I'm going to try something in this screencast. I'm actually going to do this in VirtualBox because we are using a live CD. Normally my screencast software wouldn't work, but uh, if I do this in VirtualBox, which it, I'm hoping should work, uh, we can get a nice screencast. You can see exactly what I am doing. So uh, this is also an experiment for me and let's get started. Okay, so we need to grab this uh, Linux distribution. So start up your web browser and we are going to go to gparted.sourceforge.net and once you're here, you can see this is the GNOME Partition Editor. Uh, we are going to click the Download tab. And then you're going to scroll down to you see Download Latest Gparted Live and just download this. So once this is done downloading, you need to turn this ISO image into something that you can boot from. So you're either going to use a CD or a USB stick. I've done a lot of past videos on this. Uh, here's a couple that link to this on how to do this. So if you're unfamiliar, check that out. And then what we're going to do is you're going to take this media that you just created and you're actually going to boot live from it. So that way we can start partitioning. So uh, do that and uh, I'm going to set this up in VirtualBox. Okay, if you have successfully booted into Gparted, um, you should come to a menu that looks something similar to this. Uh, I'm just going to click the Gparted Live. I apologize it's so small. This is just because of VirtualBox. Uh, once you click enter, it should run through the boot up sequence. And during the boot up, you will eventually come to this uh, about your keyboard layout. Uh, just say don't touch keyboard, or key map rather. Uh, here it automatically defaulted English for me because it said 33. Yes, I'm going to use English. Uh, here it's going to default to start X, which is uh, the graphical user interface part. Uh, if you wanted to, you could actually do this from the command line prompt if you're feeling very adventurous. So I'm just going to say enter. Okay, and this should boot right into Gparted. And uh, Gparted right here is the application. Uh, for me, it defaulted and automatically started, uh, which will probably do the same for you. And you can see right now, I've, I've set this up in VirtualBox. So I have basically unallocated space. I have 10 gigs that's unallocated. Um, so you would probably see a C drive maybe or NTFS. I'm not exactly sure what you would see, but uh, it definitely should not say unallocated. So this is something that you'll probably see. You'll just see the NTFS file system. This is basically like uh, showing you what you would see probably with your C drive. Um, at this point, uh, you know, you can right click on some stuff. Do not format. Uh, format basically means wiping everything out. Um, so we're not going to want to do that. Uh, you'll just want to resize and move. And again, you're going to want to figure out how much space you want to allocate to everything. So uh, again, if you're doing just the C drive and then just creating a small Linux partition off of your C drive and not really doing anything, another separate partition for your data, you'll probably only need maybe like 15,000 megabytes worth of space to do that. If, however, you want to actually extract out two partitions because you want to do a C drive and then you want to do a Linux operating system which you're going to need for the dual boot anyway, and then a data partition. Uh, your data partition is going to have to be at least as big as how much data you have, and then bigger when you acquire more data. So uh, if you want, uh, check out last week's video where I explained in Windows how you may have to move some files around to achieve this. Um, I have a link provided below. Okay, so one of the things I find easiest is just to slide um, uh, this around and then you'll see this automatically update. Um, new size uh, will actually be the new size of the partition, so your C drive in this case. And then the free space will be how much you have allocated. So I'm not dealing with a lot of space here, but let's say I just want to split it basically in half. I would just say resize and move. And then now I have the NTFS uh, half the space, um, and then I have this unallocated space. And then if I wanted to, I could even, when I say new, this is where I could split it up again into thirds. So I could say add, 
and then this I could say new and then I could just use all of it and then boom I just separated out three partition or I just created two partitions from my C drive um, and then when you hit apply it'll apply everything uh, again make sure all of your data is backed up but this is pretty much how you manipulate partitions using gparted and again do not click the format two on your C drive because that will wipe everything out okay once you've got everything set up just the way you want um, then you're just going to hit the apply button and all of the operations that you just set up will take place now again you can only shrink your C drive down to as much free space as you have so again if you don't have a lot of free space um, these partitions that you're going to be able to create later on aren't going to be that big so if you need more space um, you're going to have to free up space on your C drive so after you've hit applied and all of this takes place it may take some time just let it do its thing um, then you can quit this say quit yes and then you can click exit and then here you can just say shut down and say OK and your partitioning should be complete um, and then now uh, next time uh, you get ready for either the install or you boot into Windows depending on how you formatted everything uh, you'll see different partitions well that's pretty much it that is how you partition using a live Linux CD uh, hopefully you found this helpful uh, now if you don't feel comfortable partitioning uh, from either the Windows side or from the Linux side you could always uh, just let the Ubuntu install do its thing uh, I'm really not going to cover that too much because I prefer the the manual control and I think it's good that you know how to do the manual control um, I will mention it during the full-blown install uh, if you prefer that uh, but basically what Ubuntu allows you to do is, uh, is, is install it right alongside Windows and it basically takes care of all of this for you so if you don't feel comfortable with that uh, that is an option and uh, next week will be the full-blown install so uh, get ready and uh, looking forward to actually installing uh, and setting up a dual boot system